about mark making with a wax pencil, wax based pencil. Now this is a charcoal pencil. You can lay the pencil on its side and you can pull these really nice thick lines. You can also pull some very nice thin lines and you can pull some really nice razor sharp extremely thin lines. You can pull lines that vary from thin to thick and it's the way you apply the pressure to the pencil. Here I'm going to do the same thing but I'm going to curve the lines and I'm going to take the lines and I'm going to just create organic movements with them. And what makes them work is the confidence that I'm pulling them with. I'm, I'm really thinking I want this line here. I want this oval to sit here. I want this square plane to fit here. Connected to this one. Connected to this one. Lines. Then there's markings. Just little blips smudging the pencil around, creating these little aggressive markings. And the way you pick the pencil up and put it down on the page is going to help you create those markings. The lighter you go, the easier it is to skate the pencil around on the page. The heavier you go, the more the paper dictates which way your pencil is going to go, because it is a weave involved on the surface. And your pencil is going to catch into that weave in certain ways. Lightly holding the pencil here creates different markings than holding it here creates different markings from the side then holding it here creates different markings from the tip but you can also do those tip point drawing lines with your hand this way and the nice thing is you can lay the pencil down on its side you can also lift it back up drop it back down or do whatever you want because you have that much freedom with the object that you're drawing with because of how you're holding it. You're holding it like a baton. You're using these fingers right here to draw with and these as an anchor to hold everything down. And that should help you get looser with the marks that you make. And then you have these tools right here. These are fun. Yay! Let's do one quick portrait that's all marks. And I'm just going to make this head up really quickly. And it's just the way you munge the pencil together. And see, just a few little markings can get you something that looks like a portrait. Whether you want to keep it or not is another, you know, it's up to you. But that was just munging a bunch of marks together. And you can see just smashing them down into each other gives you some indication of an object. Let's do that again really quickly. Let's munge this up. You see the emergence of the eyeball? And it's the way you munge the tones together that help make it come to life. And if you can imagine now taking materials and just having all the skill of Rembrandt and then doing things like this very quickly and thoughtfully of course because your thought process is behind all of this too if if you studied well and you know that good mark, a good mark from a bad mark then you'll be able to just kind of roll it all together and create things um, really effective powerful things